Hello and welcome to Bible with Bernie. I'm your host. Today we're going to read Psalm 64. Praise the Lord. Let's open a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. Father, I ask you to bless each one that hears the word. Lord, help them understand it. Help them be obedient to the word. Bless them through the understanding of your word and light their path with it. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Psalm 64, hear my voice, O God, in my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, Who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Psalm 64. Fear not this present day insurrection. And praise, look at the definition of, of, of insurrection. A violent uprising against an authority or government. You know, there's a lot of that going on right now, right? And I'm, I'm not a big government, I'm not a pro-government guy. I don't care what they say they stand for. Most of the governments are crooked. Um, it seems like right now there's a little bit of hope uh, for people. I mean, I hear talking a lot of positive things about, you know, being for Christians. Um, anyhow, verse 1. Look at verse 1. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Praise the Lord. He, God's going to preserve us from that fear. Boy, it's tough being afraid of something, right? But with God, we don't have to fear our enemies. Look at verse 2. Look at verse 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So when you're a Christian... You're going to face insurrection. You're going to face people coming against you, um, even sometimes violently. Look at verse 3. Who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. So those who come against you are going to use bitter words. They're going to say mean things to you. Amen? It's just how it is, what to expect. Verse 4. They that may shoot in secret at the perfect. That they may shoot in secret. Verse 4. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. So the enemies of the Lord do not fear God. They don't fear the Lord, these enemies. In verse 7. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So God is not blind to these people, our, our enemies. He's going to wound them on our behalf. Praise the Lord. He's going to take our part on it. He's going to defend us. Verse 8 through 9, what do we see there? So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. So eventually people are watching, I mean, people are watching to see how a Christian reacts to his or her enemies. Amen. You may not think, but they are. They're watching to see how you're going to, if it's on Facebook, trust me, they're watching to see how you're going to react to your enemies. They're, uh, they're going to see that God wins. Amen. If you react properly, God, they're going to see God wins and think twice 
about being an enemy of God when they see what happens to, you, to your enemies. And look, let's close verse, verse 10. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Praise the Lord. Our victory is in the Lord Jesus. We are his people. We need not fear the enemy. Let's close in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Keep on serving them.